To configure the Siemens flow meter transmitter to meet your specific needs you will need to access the programming mode of the transmitter to make the required changes. To do so you will first need to understand the input keys and what each of these does. The six keys are the top up key used to move up and down through the menu levels as you drill up and down. The forward key used to move forward through the menu options. The back key used to move back through the menu options. The change value key used to cycle through settings, values and numbers. The select key used to move the underline icon to the required input field to be changed. And the lock unlock key used to get into subheadings and save any changes in settings. Now that we are more familiar with the device interface it is time to do some basic configurations. Hold down the top up key for 2 seconds to bring up the password screen. Enter the 4 digit password. The default password is 1000. Ensure you change this password to secure your device in the field. To enter your password press the lock or unlock key. The full programming mode is now available. To change the basic settings again press the lock unlock button. The first available option will be the mains frequency. To edit this again press the lock unlock button and then the press the change key to cycle between 50 and 60 Hz. Please choose the correct mains frequency for your region. In Australia it is 50 Hz. Press the lock or unlock key again to save the desired setting. Next, press the forward key to edit the next parameter. Flow direction. The default setting for the flow direction is positive. This means that the flow through the sensor is in the same direction as the arrow marked on the front flow sensor tube. If the flow is in the opposite direction of this arrow choose negative. If this needs to be altered then press the lock unlock key and press the change button to choose the appropriate setting. Press the lock or unlock key again to save the desired setting. If this does not need to be altered, press the forward key to the next parameter. Qmax. This parameter sets the flow span values and the units of flow. To edit these, press lock unlock. And then use the select key to move the flashing icon to the field value that you want to change. Then use the change value key to cycle through the numbers. When the span value is correct use the select key to move the cursor across to the units area. And then use the change value key to cycle through the desired units of flow for your application. We will use liters per second. When complete press lock unlock to save your settings and then press the top up key again to return to the basic settings menu level. Now press on the forward key to go to the next parameter. Totalizer. Press the lock or unlock key to access the totalizer one screen. And then press the lock or unlock key a second time to edit the settings. Now press the change key to move the decimal place to the desired location. This is how it will be shown on the main display when in use. Once the decimal place is set, press the select key to access the units option. And if required press the change key to alter the settings to the desired units of measurement used in your environment. Finally, press the lock or unlock key to save these settings. The last step of the basic programming settings is to turn on the current output. As this is in a separate menu structure press the top up key three times to move to the upper level of the menu. Then press the forward key to move until you find the output menu. Press the lock or unlock key three times to edit the current output parameter. Next, press the change key to ensure the current output is set to on. Finally, press the lock or unlock key to save the setting. This completes the basic programming setup for the Siemens flow meter transmitter. To exit out of the programming menu press and hold the top up key for 2 seconds. You will then be taken back to the operator's screen which will display the flow rate, the larger number at the top of the display. And the totalizer value, the smaller value at the bottom of the display. If you have any queries about these products feel free to contact the Acrodyne engineering team. Our expert field technicians can calibrate your instrumentation equipment for certification purposes. Service your equipment as part of a planned maintenance program. Or help with an emergency call out. We are here to help. Please be sure to like and subscribe to be notified of any future videos and click the links in the description below for more information about the products featured.